Hi, today's day 160. Let's see if our luck in the 1700 continues. Although I don't think we're going to hit 1800 today. It'd be nice if we actually got the... <laughs> uh, year... For 4th of July, but we didn't. I did get it once. Okay, we have something. Okay, what is this? It's called a war mold attack. It's kind of interesting line, I guess. I almost want to do this immediately. Let's do it. I don't know about this. Where do I want to develop the bishop is a question. Here or here? This would be more aggressive. Asking for this. This would be more conservative. I don't actually know what to do against a wormhole attack. I think this is the first time I'm facing it ever. I just never studied any lines for it. Um, we're going to go with a more aggressive bishop outpost. Because the queen got very aggro. I see they're trying to break it up ASAP. Kind of just want to move this here. Is that okay? Okay. Interesting. So they don't go for C3, D4. This is the first time I'm ever seeing this. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Hmm. You know what, I want to castle. They're eyeing this guy. How much can they afford to pay? Can I kick him? He comes here. I mean, where's he going? I guess I could just kick him. He comes here or something. Very interesting, weird line that I don't really understand. Doesn't make any sense. Castle. I don't know what they're thinking about here. <laughs> okay, they're just calculating this move. I could just do nothing and castle. If I go here, they could castle. I think I could just do nothing, literally. I don't see what's wrong with that. And because I don't see what's wrong, I'm going to do it. I'm going to castle. I mean, hmm. It's probably preparing this pin, but. I don't know if I should take it, honestly. I don't know if I should. You know what, let's go for it.
I don't know what they're considering so long. It's like, okay, are they really considering taking with a pun? But like, this, or even this, 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 I don't know, this, and now this, I mean, I assume they're going to have to castle. Here's when I should, my mind could be swimming for tactics, but this is like an obvious move. Is there like a more aggressive move? I mean, I don't know. Hmm. I actually wish I could like calculate this a bit more, like think through it, but um. If they take back, I honestly just take with a pun. And then my pawns are also weird. Um, if I take back with a pawn, they're just going to castle so that I don't really have a pin. Although this e-file is nice to work with. But... Do I want to mess up my pawns like that? I don't think I do. Because I go here, they just castle. Right? And I think life is just okay. And then my bishop looks really awkward. So I think I'd rather go for this. Kind of stunting their development a little, staring at this pawn, eyeing this pawn. My bishop is in a good spot, okay. Gets out of the way. Um. Yeah, this guy is gonna be weird, so. I don't know, maybe time to target him. Or just simply open up the bishop like this. Cause I am down on time, as always. So I gotta hurry up a little bit. I guess this just gives me more options. Cause I can't decide where I want my bishop now. The center looks a little weird. Mostly for him, I think. I just like how I kind of control their potential C-pawn pushing. I think I control it. Although the bishop comes here, maybe then they could prepare this push. But then they go here. Yeah, then they drop this pawn. So they have to prepare it more. Yeah, so now they prepare that. Um, and... It'd be nice to trade off, wouldn't it? Be nice to kind of trade off. Should I put my bishop here? Not sure what it's doing. I just put it here for now and then chase a rook away. If they go here now, I can first chase a rook. I see. Uh, I'll just take it. I 
guess I could have dropped back so that I could take because now they can open this up and that'd be kind of annoying. All right, so they don't do that. Very weird. Very weird captures by my opponent, seriously. It's been like, it's been kind of weird, honestly. Should I try to fight for the center? What is even going on? Should I go here? Let's push this just because the pawn, I mean, maybe I am glad this pawn is blocking the bishop's view with my king. So let's just expand. Since they didn't want to push, they didn't want to open their F file, I will open it up myself or I will push it myself and gain more space. My pawns point this way. I should be attacking as they say, right? I should be attacking. What if I put my queen right here? Or here. Or here. Spending too much time. <laughs> it's, just, it's kind of unclear. I can't I can't really see a path forward. My mind is kind of muddled onto like the strategy I want. So as I'm taking my time. Queen just moves out of the way, take, take, and then this would be a problem. But one tempo at a time. Yeah, it'd be nice to get my queen on this diagonal, actually. I think that's maybe why subconsciously I didn't want to put the queen here. I think it'd be nice to go here or something. Also to double the rooks. All right, I think it'd be more powerful to try to tr control this file if my queen weren't here and the rooks could do their own thing. But I kind of have to play more instinctively because <laughs> yeah, I have to play a little bit more instinctively. Scan an open file for the rook. Very weird stuff. This guy is playing so weirdly, like extremely so. Go here, run into this. Let's actually get the king out of the way just in case. I am going to open this up. Something like en passant. Okay.
I gotta move. I gotta move. But now this could be interesting. I don't know. I don't really care about this pawn. Do I? <laughs> Something like that, that. I assume they're going to want to trade now. But after takes, 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 then I get this guy. They can't chuck me because I guard that square. I get that guy, but is that really important? Getting this pawn? Is winning a pawn at the end of this really that important? I don't know, because then the queen could also come here. That could just be damn scary, yeah? That could just be kind of freaky. But I don't have time. Mm hmm. Um, I could, yeah, take him. Comes down. Yeah, that's actually bad news, I'd say. Uh, are we going to go for this? <laughs> Holy F. Okay. So she doesn't come for me. She's just trying to apply for time. Or he. But after this, I'm just up a pawn. And I'm going to ask for a trade, and I think I have a better structure. I need to create some lofts for my ASAP. Down a minute. Let's see if I can hold this. Oh, doubling my pawns, but okay. Doubling my pawns, but okay. This should be okay because I actually control the king. So, in a sense, it's okay. Hmm. I'm sorry if I'm breathing into the mic. Jeez. Can't help it, man. Uh, I won't trade. I assume they want to come down here, so that's actually not great for me. That I allowed that. It's actually really not ideal that I allowed that, but now I have these connected guys. So good for me. Yep, now something like that. All right, he has really weird pawns. Now am I in Zugzwang? Oh, if I think I'm in Zugzwang. Um, so this might actually be really bad for me, slash, it's probably losing. Yeah. Should I have traded the bishop? <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's resign. Should I have traded the bishop? I think it was still a draw. Um, made some bad last minute decisions. So I'm better. I, I, I should have just pushed yeah, a five straight away. I, w I just wasn't sure what to do and I kind of sunk a lot of time. I actually thought it was better in the 
for a little bit. Th that was also a waste of a move. Okay. Oh yeah, I should just have control of the seventh already. I don't know why I didn't. The best move. Oh my god, just to gain more space. That's so crushing. Okay. Dude, where do I give up a pun? <laughs> oh, I guess I was so scared of this chuck, but if they come down here, I can just come back, so it's not so bad. Um, if I ever tried this, maybe this was better. No, that's, that allows the king to come here. It's the best move. Okay. Yeah, I could have just done that immediately. Hmm. It's hard playing these end games. Um, best move here. Maybe I just had to go back. Yeah, yeah. That was a free pun. Dude, that's a free pun right there. Ah, uh, sad, sad. <laughs> and here it's just a dead draw if I don't trade. Um, I think in general I just don't because now I'm in Zugzwang. In general, I don't like draws. <laughs> if you can tell. So like sometimes I lose and I don't draw. I was actually draw boss, I just had no time to think, so I kind of just made a move. I could have just held, yeah. But you see a tendency where even in completely drawn positions, I still blunder. Oh, whatever. That was okay. It wasn't like super interesting, but it was also okay. <laughs> that guy's interesting profile picture. I want to play D4. Weirdly, I almost never play that, but let's go for it. Oh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> QGA. That's rare. I haven't looked at these lines in a hot minute, man. Not in a hot minute. All right. The biggest way to refute this, I think this actually loses immediately. Does it not lose immediately? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> I don't think I've looked at like D4 lines in like two years or at least at least a year. A hundred percent accuracy. Yay. I think that straight up just loses, right? We can show the moves. Okay, no, it's that. It's not this yet. It's it's this eventually. The point being why can't we just go for this already? Oh oh, because the knight defends, yeah. The knight defense. Okay, so I couldn't go for this immediately because this would defend, so I first break it up with a4. I like that he just resigns, though. That makes my life easier. Although this is winning for white, I think. But <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know enough theory in d4 to tell you one way or other, but... Vaguely, I remember that that's not right. Like, you don't... In the QGA, I think, if you decide to take the pawn, then you try to develop quickly. You don't just try to hold on to the pawn. Like, that has to be bad. All right, this guy is streaming, so that's interesting. And he's, like, pre-moving everything, so maybe I could even trick him. But, um... We go for something called the Eurosoft Gambit, okay? Mm. He's moving way too effing fast. Like, way too effing fast. If they come here, I take this. I guess I'll just chill out now. If they come here now, they're gonna pin me. So I almost wanna, like, take this, although I know that's probably wrong. <laughs> I know that's probably wrong, but then again, I don't care to be pinned. Right? I don't really care for that. Uh, they are gonna do it though. I guess I could always just come up. It's not really a pin, right? It's not like the end of the world, my castle. It's really not that big of a deal. Just go here. 
or here. Two ways to unpin myself, and I'm not sure which is better, but my feeling, my desire is to develop the queen. He moved way too effing fast, and <laughs> I feel like I see more and more streamers, and I wonder what that's about. <laughs> I wonder if they know me or not. One time I actually saw someone who halfway through the game told me, oh my God, I watched your videos. And then he um, he said that he learned a few things and then he's improved a few hundred ELO since when he started watching. So I was like, good for you. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that's so exciting. That's so effing exciting. Um, Just this. MBD. Pieces are a little overworked, yeah? They are a little overworked. If I go here, I cut off the queen's defense. I guess they could take my bishop, which is actually annoying. Is there a better move for me? Go here, does that run into this or something? But I guess I don't fear if they take it, right? I don't know. I don't know. I I think I have something better, but <laughs> I don't wanna sink in like three hours like the first game. Okay, good. The fireworks die down a bit. He is taking his long ass time. I see. So still taxing my pawn, huh? My pawn was still overworked in the end. Take, just take. Just here. I mean, it doesn't threaten much right now, but... This actually also comes with this, so it's a little annoying. 
Yeah. It's a little annoying. But is the knight trapped? The only square I can come to is here. So... It'd be nice if I could control him somehow. But if I go here, he's just gonna take this. And that will be annoying. Go here, he goes here. And... Mm. Definitely not doing the best I could be here. But I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I don't think I have a choice. I kind of pin around a little bit. If I leave this, I also... It's just too weird. I think I have to take it. Okay. I have to take it. Um, and I think black is just better. Yeah, I think black is better. Mm, da 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 Yeah. Kind of unfortunate. But I don't really know. This map feels too loose for me. If I come here, everything just feels loose. I don't really like this, but uh Maybe I'll open this up. That also feels loose. Like this comes with Chuck. Right? In general, it's not ideal. Let's get this guy in. Let's get him in. Now this I can push, yeah? Now this is asking for it, and the queen can't immediately give me a chuck. So not sure what that does, but... Eh. <laughs> Better than maybe my other options. I don't really see what I have, though. I don't really think I have anything. I think I'm worse. You should probably just go back. I mean. Okay, I missed that move. Um, oh, it's playing very aggressively. But I do this. And the thing is, it comes with an attack on the queen. So I think, I think this is good for me, yeah? I see. I see. Um, do I see or do I not see? So I create a pass pawn that I can defend. Is this even defendable? I don't know. Mm. 
I could just mess up his pawns a bit. I think he played, yeah, he misplayed that. That was wrong. Because before I was worse and now I'm like just okay. Slash maybe even better. If I go here, he goes here. Um. Okay, my only goal is not to get forked. Awesome, low on time. I see, he goes there instead. It's moving very fast. Trying to flag me probably. Yeah, this is actually very good because now if the rook comes to defend, the point is I can take and then threaten the knight. I guess you could come here and take the same thing. I take this, threaten to take the knight. Um, I forgot that they could come down on my a pawn. I forgot. <laughs> Maybe I should have stopped him from doing that. I forgot about that. I forgot this is an open file. Yeah, but now if yeah, but the point of this is take and now take. So this was a blunder. I think. Don't quote me. Oh, bro. So he tries to, but this is still bad because now there's back rank, brother. So GG. Oh, he blundered so hard in this game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you blundered so hard here. <laughs> you have back rank. I just want a knife for free. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe he got distracted while streaming. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a blunder. Um, next time I'm going to just trade off. If he creates left, I'm just going to trade off. And I'm just completely winning. Two minutes, I can definitely convert this. Just time to push on my pawns, baby. Yep, let's go. <laughs> Sweet, he wants a rematch, but sorry. We're gonna review it like good children. We're gonna review it. I quite enjoy that. <laughs> I'm sorry, he'll probably want to check this game out on my YouTube and um, he won't like it that I'm laughing now. Or I don't know, maybe just chill. When you're a streamer, like when you play, it's like kind of just normal to throw away games, I think. Because that happened to me a lot when I was streaming. It's like completely winning games and if I lose focus and it's just gone for it. He was doing so much better. He had an extra pawn. I was actually completely lost. So it's kind of a swindle. Yeah, this move was wrong. I don't know what else I could have done. Should I have done this up three? I mean, I don't know. What is the right move here? Maybe I needed to push C3 to defend this pawn. I mean, this was hang. Dude, I was thinking about this. Why is this actually winning? They always say not to trade your freaking pieces for the rook. But obviously this tactic exists in the position. Is it like I didn't see it? I mean, obviously we all saw it. Why can't they take here? Tell me why. Tell me why. Why is white actually winning here? Normally, okay, I swear to God. Before on my channel, when I traded my two pieces for a rook and a pawn, everybody went in an uproar. Like, I don't think I've ever received that many comments about one tactic. Then that time I decided to trade two pieces for a rook. And now this is the right thing to do in this position. Why is this? This is like what I would play as a 1200. Like, as a 1200, I would have played this. Why is this so winning? You know what? It's maybe because their king is a little exposed and they're just underdeveloped on the queen side. And I can already start pushing because I have more space and I can already start attacking. I think that's why. And here, yeah, they have to develop. And I think we just castle. So let's play through that line, actually. Let's play through that line. Okay, okay. Maybe I don't need to be such a rule father. I could have used my judgment to consider the situation. And be like, even though I traded two developed pieces for their rook, because their other pieces aren't developed, maybe I can get away with this and I'm even better. I could have used my brain to think about it instead of just listening to these rules that people had 
or that I've learned over time, you know? This is probably still better for me. <laughs> what a miss, what a miss. So sad. Look at the central space. Look at how beautiful this looks. Oh, my poor little heart. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, just look at this. This looks too sexy. I cannot. Karpov would be very proud of me if I ever did this. <laughs> he would be, like, beyond proud of me. Um, okay, so this could have happened and, it, and we didn't do it. But I guess all for the best because we got to, um, <laughs> kind of laugh a little bit at that. <laughs> We were still better. For some reason, even though I felt like I was about to lose a pawn. Yeah, this was- I felt this was wrong. Did you hear me say I feel this was wrong? Dude, I felt like we are about to lose a pawn, but I think we're- I don't know why we're still better. Like, we're obviously- oh, I see. We have to just take this way. This is like some lines in the Roy where we actually just, um, take- doubling up our F pawns was actually quite nice because then we control the knight from ever attacking quite nicely. And our king looks exposed, but it's not really. It's in hideout. We actually have an open G file we could attack ourselves. We could use to attack ourselves with. Use to attack for ourselves with. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it's not actually the end of the world. I can actually still defend this pawn by not moving my queen. And my mind was like, oh no, I have to take back with the queen. And I'm going to drop a pawn. I'm going to drop a pawn. Yeah, it's not actually that freaky, right? It's not that freaky. So I thought I had to go here because I was like, oh, shit, what about this? I consider this, okay? But what about this? What the F? What about this? I guess it says we're that winning. Are you for real? What? Oh, my God. So knight takes h1 first or h5 h5 what a weird move is h5 apparently the best move for black is h5 that's really weird i would never have thought about that uh knight takes a1 i could i could see that but okay i assume my opponent could have played that all right the point being now we have a really strong bishop versus their weird ass knight and yeah a ready threatening checkmate forcing them to make concessions forcing weaknesses and then we take the knight so it's like we want two pieces for okay okay so that just required a bit of calming down a bit of cool as a cucumber and calming down to calculate this variation which i don't because i saw that the knight has no other squares P pretty much once i come here the knight has to come here right because it has no squares i thought so i thought um what else could they do to me? I guess they could push. I mean, could they possibly have decided to push this? Is that just terrible? What about this? But then I just come back. Um, Okay, so let's actually check out that line. What if I take and they actually take back? Then apparently I'm still better. Even though they're up a pawn, I'm still better somehow. I don't really understand this, to be honest. Is it just because I control more of the center? I have more space because of this really sexy pawn on d5. And that my pieces could be coming in to attack the king. I didn't think in my head that the engine valuation gave me an advantage. Like, you heard me kind of like be a little down because I think I lost a pawn. And maybe the pawn is not that crucial here because of other advantages in the position. So I misevaluated this. Honestly, I wouldn't. Like here, I felt worse. Here, I, I felt worse because I didn't go. I mean, because I missed that move. And here, this is a big blunder. Um, They don't punish me. The best move. I thought they just, yeah, just go back. Just go back. You're up upon. I have no attack. Everything's good. The night move was the first blunder, I think. Because... It looks really scary. It's a triple fork. I mean, it's it's hypothetically sexy, but the point is once I hit this rook, I hit the queen. So I think he realizes that because then if he just takes this, then I'm pretty much up in exchange. Or wait, am I even up exchange? I'm up more than exchange. I'm up a whole rook. I'm up a whole rook. So that actually forced him to just take the queen. But then after this, we went from like a completely... I went from being much worse to now... 
I don't think it was better, but I was like, at least I'm even. Yeah, and he was calculating, should I push this pawn and maybe have a pass pawn? But then in my mind, I, I didn't see really a future of promoting this pawn with the king and the knight coming to defend. So I thought if I took here, then I at least I damage a structure and give him two nasty double pawns. I still have this nice pawn, and their pawns are really weak, which I'm going to pick off like I do. Here, I should have probably played a3 or something before going in, because I actually forgot that the rook could come down. I completely missed it. I wanted to go for back rank threats, um, or at least control this open file and get up to the 7th. He goes back. Nice. This is a mistake, because I think now the rook can come in. Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually quite freak. So now if I go here, I hit the knight. But then like f6, and then if I take this guy, then he takes this guy. And if I come here, then my rook is really passive. So I do defend the pawn and I win this pawn, but my my stuff is really, really passive. So that it's just it's not as good for me, I think. Um here can I take this or not? The engine doesn't want me to take it. Actually says black is much better after I take because then this and then and then I think I'm trapped. Yeah, I managed to trap my own knight. <laughs> so that was not a free pun. It's not a free pun code. So the minute I played this, I was kind of like, okay, shit. <laughs> but that's that's also a big mistake. <laughs> because of this, yay. And I think, yeah, this was this was the blender the last game. But here, I think, yeah, I think maybe the best move was just to trade, but now I'm just actually much, much better. So I don't know what he should have done. I think by this point I was. Okay, yeah, yeah, do this, but then I take this. And now am I still trapped? Maybe if I maybe I still can't take this pawn because after something like this or I don't know, am I trapped or not trapped? Am I trapped or not trapped? Can I take this pawn or not? Actually here maybe I I can. Other looks it looks really bad, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's bad because they take this pawn. Yeah, yeah. And that's actually, yeah, 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 okay, okay, I got it. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> I am kind of trapped because if the rook stays on the d-file, their pieces are much better than mine. Yeah, the pawn is irrelevant. So I couldn't take that pawn, I had to go where? I just trust that these guys are stronger than these guys. I just have to trust, you know, I just have to believe. And... They go here. Can I give a chug or not? I don't think I can give a chug. I just come back. I just come back and defend him. Okay, something like this. We're like marginally better, but who knows? This, who knows? We're like marginally better. But yeah, after this, should I continue that? I feel like we're going quite in depth, but maybe I should because maybe I should. Let's just check out this line. Are marginally better and sometimes at the end of these things stockfish because the draw and sometimes like white slowly grinds to win but that would require a lot of precision on my part i'm down three minutes so who knows what might have happened yeah oh, yeah so they prevent us from pushing c4 with b5 good move a lot of maneuvering we start attacking that guy wow my pieces are so nice defending everything a lot of maneuvering. A lot of maneuvering. Who knew? Who knew? In the future, I will just play like a 1200 and sack on a freaking F7. I mean, seriously. Or trade. I assume there's a huge lag here because it feels like it's slow. Okay, so it looks like their rook is moving a little aimlessly on the back rank while we are making slow but steady progress. Um, here we actually just decide we want to forsake that pawn so we can come in already, maybe? I don't know. Weird. Weird stuff. Weird stuff. We're like slowly, slowly grinding this, and this is beyond my comprehension. So I think if the guy played this, I might have lost because I might have not done this in two minutes <laughs> very accurately that's enough for today okay adios good night bye